everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ask a Tail Skill Engineer. I'm Laura, and today I'm joined by Dave and Sonia, who are going to be walking through two exciting new features in Tail Scale 1.8. Hello. 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 Um, so if you don't mind sharing your screen, I think the first feature is Split DNS. So, uh, so Split DNS is a feature that a lot of our corporate users have been asking for. And this is the ability to uh, set a DNS server that is only used for specific domain names. So as Sonia is showing here, we, we've tweaked our DNS settings page so that you can still enter a name server, but now you can also toggle this button that says only use this server for the following domains. So in our case, say tailscale.com. And so once we once we save this, uh, all of your all of your computers will know that if you're looking up, you know, login.tailscale.com, they should send that request to 1.2.3.4. And for everything else, they should keep doing whatever they were doing before Tailscale showed up. Awesome. So split DNS looks like a really great way to manage your namespaces. Thanks for showing that. Um, Sonia, what is the second uh, key feature that's coming out with 1.8? Yeah, so in 1.8, we have a feature that we're really excited about that we're going to be bringing into alpha mode called tail drop. Um, it, with tail drop, we've built out uh, some native U UIs where you can send files between all of your tail scale devices. Um, and so uh, let me share my screen and show you guys what this looks like with a couple of devices. Um, here you can see on my, uh, this is my Mac, um, and then I have my phone. Uh, screen just displayed up here. You can see this is just my phone. Um, so to show you what this looks like, I have Tailscale running on my device. If I go over to um, my camera roll, for instance, and I want to share some photos to my Mac, if I go to the default iOS share menu, you can see that there's now a Tailscale option in here. Um, and you should see this anywhere where you pop up uh, a share menu in the default iOS um, flow. The same thing with Mac OS. Uh, if you right click on files, you can you get a share option um, and you can grab it from there. Windows is the same thing. You right click on a file and you can get a share option. Um, so I select Tailscale. Here you can see the list of devices that I can share with. Right now, we only allow you to use this tail drop UI for sharing files between your own devices. Um, so if you're on a network with other users, you're only going to see your devices in here. You won't be able to send files through their, to their devices through um, tail drop. But let me show you what this looks like. If I choose Ada, which is my Mac uh, that we're looking at. You can see that I just shared some files and now I look over here at my downloads folder and these files that I just shared um, have been sh shared successfully. So let's actually do this in the opposite direction as well. Um, so from the Mac, again, as you guys saw, I right, I right clicked on uh, a file, click go into the share menu, you see the tail scale option uh, and now I can send to my iPhone. Um, here you go. You can see that we've received the file. Uh, you can see a little preview of it in the notification. And if you tap into that, we drop the file into your um, folders app on your phone and you can uh, move it wherever you want from there. Um, that's the landing spot is in a tail, tail scale folder within your files app. To actually start using this feature, uh, we have added a settings panel into the admin panel where you can actually go and toggle on this alpha uh, feature. By default, your network is not gonna be opted into the feature, but you can go into here and just toggle on send files and that'll allow you to access these share panels that we just demoed. That is awesome. Great work. I'm so excited about this. Um, and everyone can use this with 1.8? Yeah. 
so everyone will be able to use this uh, in alpha mode in 1.8, but you will only be able to share between devices that are running 1.8 clients. Um, so if you haven't upgraded all of your clients, you're not going to see ones that are not upgraded um, in your share list options when you're choosing a device to share with. Sweet. And I know you mentioned it again. You mentioned it, but I'm going to reiterate that this only works because it is an alpha, this only works with my own devices. Right, exactly. Amazing. Well, I'm really excited about 1.8 and getting it out the door. Um, if people use this and they, um, please tell us how you're using it, right? Add us at Tailscale, send us an email, let us know um, how you're using it, what it allows you to do better, different than before. Um, we're really jazzed about getting this to everyone. Um, Sonia and Dave, thank you so much for walking through what's new with Tailscale 1.8 with me. Thanks, Laura. Yeah, thanks. All right, and to everyone, enjoy 1.8.